Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Abortion has been a legal right since the 1973 Supreme Court Roe v. Wade decision. But as the Supreme Court gets ready to hear a pivotal case involving Mississippi's strict abortion ban, some of the visual coverage invites us to look past visual stereotypes that have dominated the debate. This photo was taken by Stacy Kranitz for Time. She spent time documenting the Jackson Women's Health Organization, the last abortion clinic operating in Mississippi. On December 1st, the Supreme Court will hear a case involving the clinic that could effectively eliminate most abortions in Mississippi as well as the country. This photo is so striking for a number of reasons, one of which is that, for me, activates a kind of sense of absence and presence. And in doing so, I think it serves as a kind of visual proxy for the entire political debate about abortion rights. So one way to read this image is that the empty room potentially foretells the future if Roe versus Wade is overturned, leaving the clinics that provide abortion empty, though, of course, most clinics providing abortion also perform other women. Health services. Yeah, I love the tone of this image. It's dim and receding, clearly has this documentary quality, which Kranitz is known for. But it also feels what I would say already historical. So that kind of telegraphs where we are in terms of the potential elimination of abortion as a service in the country. There's also a twist to the photograph, isn't there, Kara? Yeah, I mean, I can't stop thinking about that spotlight. And the spotlight, I think, really needs to be seen as a visual metaphor for what's at stake in the debate. If a patient were actually on that table undergoing an examination by a doctor or perhaps a procedure, that spotlight would not be placed where it is, right? It would be in a different place. The room would be lit differently. So I think part of what Kranitz is doing in this photograph is inviting us to think about the space of the exam room, this intimate space, but also the way that the political spotlight is always shining on what happens in this room. I think that's right on, but I think the direction of the light really does serve a double purpose because that is the spot where the procedure would be taking place. So the placement of the beam really is ironic that uh, perhaps saying that the time for these procedures is over. The image is clinical, and I mean that in a literal sense. It's highlighting the extent to which legal abortion in an ideal scenario takes place in a medically safe space. It takes place as part of the context of healthcare. For that reason, this image contrasts with other images that we see in the abortion debate. You know, often when the pro choice and anti choice positions are visualized in the context of visual documentation, in the context of photojournalism, we get pro test imagery, right? We get pictures of groups outside of the clinic holding signs, or we get pictures of, for example, recently in Texas, marchers marching against the Texas law. And so these contrasting images of groups of people holding up signs, often in the anti-choice context with graphic images of fetuses, this image really challenges those visual stereotypes. And another way that I think it challenges is just that it is a very quiet, image. There's literally an empty room. Everything is placed carefully. The tone of the image is very subdued, except for that very dramatic metaphorical spotlight. And so in doing this, I think Kranitz is inviting us to think about what abortion and the abortion debate looks like in a different way. 